Today we are reviewing a bunch of viral leggings from TikTok. Like a lot of people, I am also a TikTok addict. It's so entertaining, you can literally scroll for hours and the time, it just flies. And lately I've seen the same three leggings get a lot of hype on TikTok. And I know I can't be the only one, but something about these viral TikTok leggings just kind of like annoys me because literally all someone will do is just like stand on the screen and say, oh my God, you need these leggings. And then like, that's it. I'm like, where was the review? How did these leggings go so viral with so little information given about them? Like these airy crossface leggings went viral just because one girl did like a dance and she looked really good in them. Like that was it. She didn't even say anything about the leggings. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, we spend a lot of time talking about the important details of leggings because you know what? There are some bad leggings out there. And some of the leggings that some people recommended today, I'm literally like, how did these go viral? If you're new here, my name is Catherine. We do a lot of brutally honest legging reviews here, a lot of affordable leggings, active wear in general. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure to do so and give the video a thumbs up. Today we're going to be going through the three most popular TikTok leggings, at least from what my For You page has shown me. Two of them are booty scrunch, which we all know how I feel about booty scrunch. And then we got the airy ones. And because the TikTok videos don't actually review the leggings, I'm going to actually give you some important details and see if these are actually worth it or not. And I'm going to teach you a little tip that might be able to save you a lot of money. Money. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, we have these like fishnet scrunch leggings. I'm not sure what the original video of these is, but I have seen quite a few videos of people trying these leggings and they kind of like show their boyfriends or husbands or like wait for their reaction. And it's always like, oh, like, oh my gosh. And they're always like super intrigued, obviously, because they're, they're booty scrunch. These are actually like thicker and stretchier than I thought. They kind of have this like fishnet type appearance. Personally, they're not like my go-to style of legging, but we're keeping an open mind. And these were actually kind of hard to find on Amazon because everyone's just been like buying them up. But I wanted to show you a little trick because not only are these leggings going viral on TikTok, but I've also seen quite a few companies on Instagram selling them. If you haven't seen my Paragon video and kind of learned about like drop shipping and white labeling, something that's kind of growing in the activewear industry is like basically starting your own activewear company by like taking these wholesale leggings, putting your logo on it and selling them. And I've seen this Instagram account a lot lately because they sell these exact same leggings. The brand is Tahira by KB. So it's Callie Burns brand. I don't really know who Callie Burns is, but she has a nice butt and she's on Instagram. And if you're unfamiliar with AliExpress, it's basically this like huge online marketplace based in China and they have like a lot of brands and you can get leggings for like eight to $10 that are like quality leggings. And I've been an AliExpress shopper for like three years now and I've definitely seen these leggings before I've seen them on the Tahira by KB website. So a little trick to save you guys a lot of money. If you've ever seen a pair of leggings or like a new brand on Instagram and you wanna make sure like you're not buying from like a drop shipping brand, which there's nothing wrong with drop shipping, but the Takira by KB website is selling these leggings for $70 and you can get them on AliExpress for $8. That's literally 10% of the price. What you're going to do is you're going to take a screenshot of the leggings, like from their Instagram, from their website. You're going to go onto the AliExpress app and in the top right corner, there's like this little camera icon with a little magnifying glass on the inside. And that is your reverse image search. So you're going to take the image that you just screenshotted and reverse image search it. And if it's a legging that they have on AliExpress or that sellers already have made on AliExpress, you're going to come up with like literally so many options. These specific leggings are like $10, $10.30, $9, $6. If you're unexperienced on AliExpress, some sellers are like not so reliable, but if you go to the reviews and if anyone like has like any pictures or anything, it's usually pretty decent. So just thought I'd share that little trick because these leggings are viral on TikTok from Amazon, but then there's also that girl on Instagram selling them. So there's just like a lot with these leggings. I got these ones specifically from the Om Kagi store on Amazon. I got them in a size small. They feel pretty good. They're kind of thick. They have this thick kind of like performance material waistband up here with no seam at the top, so that's good. There is a very subtle front seam, which could cause some problems because sometimes with scrunches, they just create a lot of force going up into that area, which can create some camel problems, so we'll see. Here's a close up of the actual like kind of like fishnetty material. It's pretty stretchy and it looks like it's gonna be pretty opaque, so I wouldn't worry about squat proofness too much. But yeah, I definitely feel like these textured leggings are kind of like an acquired taste, if you will. So I'm just so surprised that they've gone so viral just because I feel like these aren't everyone's cup of tea. Let's just try them on and see. Okay, so I don't hate these and I'll give you a couple reasons. So first of all, I was a little nervous because I did get a size small, which is totally my normal size, but you never know. Sometimes with these like Amazon AliExpress leggings, they can just 
run like a super small and you just have no idea. I would say these are true to size, size up if in between. I really wish they didn't have this front seam because even though it's like totally not noticeable, if you actually want to like adjust these leggings to a reasonable place, the seam is like definitely pretty invasive. Since these are a scrunch legging, people tend to like pull them up to make them flattering on your glutes, right? So there's like a high chance of issues. So that's one con. I actually kind of like this waistband. The contrast is a little much for me, but it does kind of go down in the front for a little lower tummy control and then kind of scoops up and around in the back. So it's just really flattering on the glutes. These are definitely going to be sweat friendly and cellulite friendly because you don't really get to see much through this like fishnet material. I'd say this is not the most outrageous scrunch I've ever seen. Definitely a high on the booty scale. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, this like fishnet material, just like the way it like kind of sits here, it's like gathering in a weird way and kind of looks like it's ripping. Okay, I just looked in the mirror. It's not ripping. I feel like that just looks a little bit strange. <laughs> I don't know. And something that no one mentions on TikTok, of course, because they don't say anything about the leggings, is that they're kind of like itchy. They're just not like a very soft legging. This material doesn't really feel like it should be an athletic material. I don't know, personally, my legs wouldn't like to have these on for a long period of time. Because they're a scrunch, I'm definitely getting some tightness in the scrunch area when I squat, so be careful of that too. Every time I move more, I get more, more issues here. Okay, so overall, these are not horrible. I'd say like the waistband in general is pretty flattering. The scrunch is pretty flattering. They're definitely going to hide cellulite. I feel like the scrunch has a tendency to look a little weird. They're not very soft and the front seam is definitely causing some issues. So personally, these will not be a new holy grail legging or anything and i can't believe that that other instagram store is selling these for 80 dollars because these do not feel like 80 dollars leggings if you do like these though i'll link them on amazon and aliexpress down below whatever you prefer they're kind of picked over on amazon right now Next, we have the Airy Real Me cross waist leggings. So I have the patterned ones, but the girl who kind of made these go viral was in the solid colored ones. And I actually have tried the solid colored legging version of these, and I don't love the solid version. So I've already done a full review of these and I've had them for like six months. And I actually put them in my 2020 favorites video as my favorite printed leggings because I specifically like the printed version, not the solid version. I love the cross waist on these. It's a nice high cross waist. So you still do get a lot of coverage. They're a super lightweight naked feel legging. These are in the regular 7 8 length. I have another pair of them in the snake print that I got the longer version, which I do prefer the longer version. And because Airy almost always has sales, before these went viral, you could always find them for like $30 on the Airy website. But ever since they've gone viral, like everyone's been buying them up. I don't know if you're ever going to find these for less than $30 again, which is kind of disappointing because I like these leggings, but people are reselling them on Poshmark for like $100 and these are not worth $100. Like why are you going to pay $100 for what people call an aligned dupe? First of all, it's just not an aligned dupe but you could buy lines for that anyways i'll get off my soapbox but i have tried this material in the solid and this material is super super thin so in the solid colors first of all there's like a little risk for camel which i didn't really enjoy and second of all there's just like no compression no cellulite coverage any of that. So yeah, I just don't feel like these are like universally flattering leggings. Of course, no one ever needs to hide their cellulite, but cellulite proof leggings is something a lot of people look for, especially because that's like the purpose of the textured leggings we just reviewed. Anyways, let's try these on. We were able to get one cat special guest for the animal print leggings. So say hello, Pince. All right, so here are the Real Me cross waist leggings. I think they're sold out right now. At one point they had black in stock, but I said it earlier, I say it again, you need to get the pattern ones. They're so much better than the solids. They come in tall lengths. This is the regular length on me. I'm 5'9", so it is a little short. These are made of like a soft, like sleek material. It's an interesting combination, but they're somehow both sleek and soft. I love the cross waist on these. I think it's not too deep of a V for a cross waist. You're not getting like a ton of like skin showing here, but you do get good coverage on the side, kind of cover up the like the love handle area. These are definitely not a compressive legging. Overall, like a light compression, definitely naked feel. In the prints, they are going to be cellulite friendly. In the solids they're definitely not even though these don't have a scrunch like the other ones they're actually pretty flattered on the glutes and i give these about a medium to high on the booty scale i worn these for several workouts i really like them they're super lightweight they're one of my favorite summer leggings because they're so lightweight and really don't like retain a lot of warmth may not be best for january these ones i do think live up to the hype i actually really love these leggings especially since i think they're pretty affordable for their quality as well but personally i'm not sure i'd buy another pair unless i can get them for the 30 dollars price that they usually are at because airy always has sales. So get your airy stuff on sale. I'll link these down below if they're available right now, but TikTok's been selling them out. So it's kind of hard to come by.
And the final pair of viral TikTok leggings are quite frankly, these awful anti-cellulite leggings. I've actually tried these on my channel before. These leggings are literally nothing new. And these were literally the last things I thought would go viral on TikTok. I literally hate these so much. The first ones are much better if you're looking for like an anti-cellulite legging. I've seen several videos of these, but the one video that I'm thinking about of these, this girl is wearing like this kind of like unflattering pair of leggings in the first shot that like isn't doing anything for her glutes. And then of course, when you put a booty scrunch, your glutes are gonna look better. This is why I don't trust TikTok leggings. So she literally says nothing about them. No one is telling you that they have this horrible elastic at the top. No one is telling you how like thin and like literally sheer these are. Like, hello, if I can see you through these leggings, they're too sheer. But anyways, these are another pair of leggings you can definitely find on AliExpress. They just have a simple booty scrunch and they're made of this like super stretchy textured material. This is kind of like what the textured material looks like. And because it's so textured, it's supposed to help hide cellulite, which it definitely does, but I just don't really think it's very cute. These do have a front seam, just kind of a simple front and they kind of tapered down into the scrunch in the back. So these undoubtedly are gonna be flattering on the glutes because they do have that kind of tapered seam and then they have a scrunch. But what no one tells you in the reviews is that they have this like thick, basically like cheap elastic band at the top of the waistband that's just gonna like cut into your like muffin top region. And when you think of a legging waistband, you kind of want it to be compressive all around. And they literally just have like this like kind of one inch thick elastic just at the very top. So you're only gonna get the compression like at the very top of the leggings, which is why I don't think these leggings deserve the viral reputation they have. But anyway, let's try them on. All right, these last leggings, trying them on just reminded me how much I don't like them. I just don't think they deserve any of the hype they're getting they're just like horrible leggings first of all they seem to have a never-ending amount of fabric like i could stretch these all the way like down my feet you could literally pull them up like so high but i guess if you're looking for a really stretchy legging they are they are stretchy i'm really not a fan of this texture i find the texture of the other like fishnet leggings a little more reasonable and like i said the elastic at the top i think you can kind of see it it definitely helps keep the leggings up if it didn't have this elastic the leggings would fall right down. So it does serve a purpose, but I think you can kind of see it's literally only like compressive right here. And then the rest of the leggings is just like, so definitely not your go-to compression legging. It seems like none of these like textured scrunch leggings have been introduced to the idea of a crotch gusset that kind of helps with invasiveness of the front seam situation. So this front seam definitely can cause you some problems if you're not careful. The scrunch is honestly pretty subtle, it kind of blends in with the texture of the leggings. I feel like the scrunch is less invasive and less tight than the last scrunch. As someone who has tried a lot of leggings, these just don't feel very high quality. Definitely true to size if you're in between, maybe even size down because they are stretchy and everything. And they'd actually probably be pretty sweat friendly as well, kind of because of the print, kind of because of the material. This is definitely not the first time these like anti-cellulite leggings have gone like viral on some platform one or another but every time I just don't agree with it. So let me know in the comments down below, are you a fan or do you stay 10 miles away from it like I do? Okay, so that is it for my review of these viral TikTok leggings. Honestly, the only pair I hadn't tried yet was the first pair, which definitely are better than these bad boys. But leave me a comment down below. Do you guys get a lot of your recommendations from TikTok? Like is just seeing a single person wearing it in a video and saying, buy these, is that enough for you? Or do you like to come watch like more like in-depth videos? If you're on YouTube right now, you probably like in-depth videos, but either way. <laughs> comment down below, let me know. If you do like videos, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.